Well, it's getting really chilly here in Chicago nowadays. It's the highs are only about till 45 degrees. And uh, you can see on the street that I live on, I'm walking home right now that fall is essentially over, that the, the leaves have started to pretty much all fall off the trees now. But I wanted to just give a quick thank you and a shout out um, and say how awesome this channel is. It makes a huge impact on me and everyone's comments and helps drive future videos. And that is exactly what this video is all about. A lot of you who have the legacy perspective system, um, airplanes that have model year, maybe 2008 through 2016, really enjoyed the database concierge video, updating your databases using the Flightstream 510. But on the legacy perspective system, you can't do that. So a lot of you requested this video on, can we do one to, on how to update the legacy perspective avionics? The answer is yes, this video is exactly that. And to make things a little bit easier, I'm gonna link in the description below what databases you need to have on each card to make it really nice and organized for you. And I'll even put a little link for a one pager for you to download, I'll put that together. So check the description of the video out below. And I just wanna say how awesome that is people are watching the videos and helping come up with ideas that you find helpful. So thank you so much. It's a pleasure and an honor to do this and they're a lot of fun to put together. Anyway, enjoy, thanks, and be well. So I'm sitting in the airplane right now in a uh, 2010 SR22 Turbo. It's a great airplane. And uh, I'm gonna show you a few things. First of all, I'm gonna need a blank SD card. So this SD card is just something that you can get off of Amazon. I always try to make sure I get a 16 gigabyte or less SD card. You know, for some reason, I don't know the exact technical uh, reasons why, but uh, if you get too big of a card, like a 64, 128 gigabyte, there used to be some, some issues with uh, the system not being able to read it. So this is a blank SD card, just a regular one that you can get on Amazon or a store or whatnot. Um, this one's a uh, SanDisk. It's a 16 gigabyte card. So we need that um, and we're gonna, we're gonna use that. The other cards that we need are these, uh, the, the what look like SD cards, but are actually the Garmin um, uh, cards for the MFD and the PFD. So I'm gonna pull the MFD out here in just a, just a minute, but I just wanted to show you that. So these are the bottom cards in both the PFD and the MFD. These need to be in the system at all times in order for it to operate. So let's go ahead and uh, those are the pieces of equipment that you'll need. We're gonna update three cards, a uh, blank SD card, the PFD, and the MFD uh, cards. I also have my computer here and I have the Jepson JDM app downloaded uh, onto my computer. Plus I also have, um, I've pre-downloaded, I logged into my Jepson account and pre-downloaded all of uh, the databases that are needing to be current here. So this is gonna be excellent and um, really important to do. I'm at a hangar here, you can see, you know, it doesn't have Wi-Fi, but, um, it's important to have it downloaded so that way uh, you can transfer everything unless uh, your phone has a, a hot spot uh, where you can tether in. But some of these files are pretty big, so make sure you download it at home. So I'm in my Jepson account right now, and you can start to see that I've got nav data, airport directory, obstacles, safe taxi, and electronic charts. These are all downloaded. So I've already downloaded them. Uh, at home so that it's available for offline use. Because I'm at the hangar, it's really important uh, to have this downloaded so I'm not hot spotting using lots of data um, it, in order to, to download some of these files. Actually, these the only real big file is electronic charts, which is usually a couple, uh, you know, maybe almost a gigabyte. Everything else is relatively small, 20 megabytes or less. So I'm in this page. I've logged into my Jepson account here and uh, it looks uh, looks fantastic. So let's go to grab our cards first, but we'll first check and I'll show you what I mean by databases being out of date. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take our blank SD card here and I'm gonna plug it into my SD card reader in my uh, computer. And the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, everything is deleted off of the card. That way, 
the card is fresh, there's nothing on there, and I don't have to compete with any other files so that the system reads it appropriately. So for the SD card, I've, now that I got the card blank, I'm gonna take this, only the nav database, and I'm gonna put that on there and say transfer to database, and I'm gonna say continue, and this should take just a second. That was it, and that's easy. We're done with that card. It's the nav database only. All right, next we'll do the PFD. So I'm gonna grab the bottom PFD card and update this one next. These cards are very expensive and you don't really want to, you always wanna make sure that you have them um, around. So I've labeled this one PFD. Usually um, if, you, if you have a series, they're probably already uh, loaded uh, or named PFD or MFD, but it's important to keep these separate and really understand which databases we need to do. I'm gonna come in and uh, add this to my uh, SD card reader and then uh, come down here. So the next thing I'm gonna do, the only th uh, document or databases that we need to add here are airport directory, obstacle, and safe taxi. So I'm just gonna click this again so you can actually see it. So transfer to device, there's our Garmin. I'm gonna say continue. And I've already done the um, uh, airport directory. That was good. We do the obstacles, which is excellent. And then finally, our safe taxi. And these are the three databases that we really need in order to uh, put on the PFD bottom uh, card here, which it is. Excellent, the card can come out now. And I'm just gonna put this right back into the PFD. Awesome. All right, now the MFD card. So I'm gonna take this out. I've got the MFD card here. You can see that this one is labeled MFD. The, these are expensive cards, like I said, so make sure you keep them separate and, uh, and keep track of them. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. And um, what I'm gonna do now is come over here and we're gonna do the same three databases, airport directory, obstacle, safe taxi, and we're gonna add electronic charts. So this is the MFD bottom slot uh, card. So here we go. Transfer to device, continue. Good. Obstacles, great. Safe taxi, continue. And uh, our electronic charts. This is a bigger file, so you're going to see it's not as instantaneous, but it's going to work out really nice and really well. So that's awesome. So we'll get this thing transferred and uh, we'll be in good shape. Remember, we already put only the nav database onto this little scan disk card, the little SD card generic. And um, once this card finishes writing, which it just did, we're gonna be in a spot where we're ready to fire this up so that it's ready to, uh, ready to update. Here we go. So I'm gonna put our Garmin card back in the MFD slot. The next thing I'm gonna do is take our nav data card and put it in our top MFD slot. So we've got that and I'm gonna go slow. The first thing I'm gonna do is only turn battery two on so that we can uh, fire this up. And we're gonna be able to see battery two uh, power up the PFD only. And in the top right corner here, excuse me, the top left corner, we're gonna start to see the, the new databases be read on um, the, the card here. So this is excellent, it's reading it. I can hit any key to continue. Now we're in a position where this thing's firing up nicely and uh, that is ready to go. So this is gonna start powering up and initializing just like it would when you've got it. The next thing I'm gonna do is come down to battery one right here and start turning that on. Battery one is gonna power up uh, both sides of the system here. So we're gonna have uh, our MFD and what comes up here is that do you want to update the standby navigation database? I'm going to hit no, and I'm going to hit any key to continue. So we've got that. Another screen's going to pop up. It's really important, the standby database, I'm going to hit no. Now, do I want to overwrite the or update the active database? The answer is yes. So here's our active databases. I'm going to hit yes here. And now it is from our top card. That's where we put the nav, card, nav database. It's adding it there and uh, it's updating. So we're just waiting here for a second. 
awesome. This is fantastic. So great, it's all continued and we're ready to go. So databases will be verified before use and uh, all of our new safe taxi charts, all of that is gonna be verified before use. So I'm gonna press another key and we're gonna see what's going on. So we're gonna let this power up, it takes a second. And uh, from here, what we'll do is see our display of databases once this pops up. And it should say either verifying or all of these should be white now to show us that we have uh, actually um, uh, our databases. So our nav databases update, everything else is still verifying to make sure that it's working, but nothing is in yellow. So at least this is a good sign. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and kind of go through the different screens here. Make sure that works. I can also come over on the MFD and go to the AUGS page and then scroll down to uh, the databases, which is the system status here. So here's our databases that we can see. So we can see that the uh, internal navigation database is good. Remember this was the standby navigation database. I'm gonna really worry about that a whole lot. Um, and our base map is good. It's verifying still our safe taxi, which there it's done verifying, so that's good. And uh, looks like everything else should be ready to go as well. So good database for our obstacle and uh, airport directory still verifying and uh, the charts are. So the charts just finished, that's great. Last one to verify is our um, airport directory but it looks like we're starting to be in really, really good shape here. So everything is, oh, there it is, just finished and completed. So we're done there. Awesome. Now the, the last thing I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and turn these switches off. And I'm gonna pull out the MFD uh, nav card. This was our blank SD card um, that just had our navigation database. I'm gonna keep our Garmin PFD and MFD uh, cards in. And um, now next time when we actually turn our batteries back on, things should pop up and uh, show us nice and active. Fantastic, we did it. Everything is updated appropriately. Everything's in white. We can see the expirations of uh, when everything expires again. So we're in a fantastic position here and uh, happy flying. So there we are. It's really good and important to have fresh updates, it makes you most importantly feel good. So you take away all the stress of having a little yellow outdated database on your airplane. Make sure you always do what you can to feel good while you're flying. It's really, really important. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you found value out of it. The channel's really growing. It makes a personal impact on me. When you comment, I love seeing them and discussing with you. I try to read and respond to every single comment. So. Thanks so much, happy updating, and fly well.